so here on swiping it at right side it is at the direction of dismiss direction dot start to end we can now just remove all the data from our cloud firestore database okay what's the case of this we can also remove this okay before dismissing all of our data let's get some data in this tutorial let's fetch some of the data from my cloud firestore database now this stream builder will be simply taking stream in the form of query snapshots so here i can get all of my data under the form of query snapshot and under our stream builder it will simply take two main parameters which is stream and builder so in the case of stream we can fetch all of our data from our cloud firestore so here i will simply write firebase firestore dot instance from our collection so here i will give you a collection name which is upper games and from this collection we will simply get all the snapshots now after getting a snapshot we can construct a builder for a stream builder so under this builder we will simply take a context and a snapshot so here i will simply write an if statement saying if snapshot dot connection state is under the connection state of waiting we can simply return our favorite widget so for now i will simply return a center which will have a child to be circular progress indicator now after that we will have an else statement and under this else statement we can simply return a new list view so here i will write return new a list view now this list view will have children so let's give some children to our list view so here i will write a children parameter and this children will be simply take under the form of snapshots so here i will write snapshot dot data and from this data we will simply fetch all the docs now remember one thing firebase is updated and instead of writing document or document changes you simply have to write docs and you have to map the docs under the form of document snapshot so here instead of returning nothing we can do one thing that is return a document snapshot so here i will write document snapshot to be a document snapshot short we can simply return a new card so here i will write a card now this card will simply have children but before that we are getting a warning about the iteration of the following list view simply iterate our entire list view in the form of two list which will be under a literable form so here under this card it will have a child to be a list child now this list child will have a title now let's give the title to be a text from our document snapshot dot data and from this data we will simply fetch a name let's give some more styling to our entire text and also let's give it a leading icon so here i will simply provide a leading widget to our list style so to do that we can do one thing that is provide a circle avatar and this circle avatar will simply have a background image so let's give it a network image and this network image will be from our document snapshot dot data and from this data we can simply face the game now after doing this we can simply press ctrl and s to get all of our database things okay so we are getting an error about the url so let's do one thing that is instead of having this network image we can now provide instead of a leading to be a circle avatar just an icon i think the name of my asset is something different so here i will simply provide an icon of icons.aci unit okay so we are now getting all of our data here with a small sort of icon of ac unit okay never mind so here we are getting all of our data so now let's provide a dismissible widget over the following list style to dismiss it from its own database so to do that we can do one thing that is instead of retaining a card so here we can simply refactor our card into a new widget so here i will simply refactor it into a dismissible now this dismissible will simply take one most important parameter which is key so we can do one thing that is create a new integer for handling all the index value so here i will write a index to be an integer and here under our dismissible we can format a document once first cool so here we will have a new key now this key is going to be in the form of object key so here i will write object key and this object key will handle all of our data from our cloud firestore so here i will write document snapshot dot data and from this data we can get all the keys now once it is done we can move on to our next important parameter which is on dismiss now this on dismiss method will simply take an argument to be an integer so let's provide an argument of direction and under this method we can do one thing that is remove all the data so to do that i will simply write document snapshot dot data dot remove or the following index and the index will be simply index cool now once it is done we can format document once press ctrl on us and before trying it out we can do one thing that is give a direction so here i will write a dismiss direction and for this tutorial let's get a direction of start to end press ctrl on us and now let's try it out our dismissible so here on swiping it at right side it is at the direction of dismiss direction dot start to end we can now just remove all the data from our cloud firestore database in our federal application okay what's the case of this we can also remove this 
Good. So in this way, you can simply remove all of your data with the help of dismissible in your cloud Firestore database. Now, this was all about for today. And if you have loved this tutorial, you can like this video. And if you have any problem regarding your dismissible widget, you can comment out in the comment section. And if you are new to this channel, you can kindly subscribe. So I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.